This episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. Guys, therapy has helped many of my friends and family. There is no need to feel bad or ashamed about going to therapy. Getting help is a part of the journey, and that's what BetterHelp does. Without a healthy mind, being truly happy and at peace is hard. The good news is therapy works. But what is therapy? It's whatever you want it to be. Maybe you're not feeling motivated right now and would like some tools to help you. Or maybe you're feeling insecure in relationships or at work. Or you just have a lot on your plate. Whatever you need, it's time to stop being ashamed of normal human struggles and start feeling better because you deserve to be happy. And now you don't have to worry about finding an in-person therapist near you. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can start communicating with your therapist in under 48 hours. Join the millions of people who are seeing what online therapy is really about. It's always a good time to invest in yourself because you are your greatest asset. Right now is a special offer to my listeners, Lay Your Brick listeners. You can get 10% off your first month of professional therapy at betterhelp.com slash LYBCADE. That's betterhelp.com slash LYBCADE. Thanks again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this episode. Hello, welcome back to another episode of Lay Your Brick. Today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about staying present, being present, not being hurried in life and what it really truly all means and looks like and is. It'll be fun. It's going to be try it. Let's get into it. Thank you guys for joining me on this very special episode this week. Uh, It's special to me because it's something that I've been dealing with for a very long time now. And I think all of us have been dealing with this for a very long time. Being present, staying present. And not living in an unhurried fashion. Oof. Big, big talk. Big idea for today. But I wanted to really get into it because I was reading this book. And it's called Change Your Thoughts, Change Your Life. And I'm misplacing the author right now. Hold on here. By Wayne Dwyer. Wayne Dyer. I'm sorry. Wayne Dyer. Change Your Thoughts, Change Your Life. If you haven't read the book or interested in reading the book, I highly recommend it. Uh, It's been great to me so far. And there's a lot of lessons in here constantly that I'm learning every single day on what to do and how to actually input it in your life. And what's cool about it is he takes these lessons from the Tao Te Ching, which I'm probably butchering that, but it's basically kind of a way of life. Uh, It's a different, it's a bunch of different verses um, about their poems kind of about way of life and he takes those and he dissects them and then he tells you what to do with them now so it's great because he takes a very complex thing kind of at the seat the front of it and then he dissects it and tells you exactly what to kind of do it and how to put it place into your life which i think that we all can really you know favor that at times because it's very hard with all the knowledge that we learn and if you're constantly trying to look to better yourself and be a person, be a better person and learn more things. This is a great way to do it because this tells you how to do it and how to put it in your life. And I think that we look for simplistic ideas on how to actually apply that knowledge to our lives. Because like uh, Mitch and I have talked about before, when you're learning all this knowledge, it's great, but there's a point where you're just learning it and you're not applying it. And when you start applying it, that's when you see the real growth and the real, the timeliness of everything that's happening. So, Let's get into it. This chapter or verse, however you want to kind of really go about it, is the 15th verse of the Tao Te Ching. Um, And I won't, I can read it to you guys if you want, but I'll kind of, it's not super important. I just want you to take away from the, the actual freaking, God, I'm spacing on it right now. Uh, The being present, being present. Because I think, so one of the things that I deal with a lot in life is trying to, I I constantly want to stay busy because I really want to do something great with my life and I, and I really want to, you know, for my podcast to take off and whatever my goals are and you guys might have the same thing. So whatever you guys really want to do, you guys are probably hard on yourself on the fact that like, why am I not getting there yet? Why is this not happening for me yet? And how can I keep advancing and go, 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 um, and there's many different books out there that help you with this. But one lately that's been really helping me is this book, Change Your Thoughts, Change Your Life. Um, and I just 
see myself a lot of the times where I am in a hurried fashion to get to that destination, right? And you've all heard, especially if you guys are on this path and just in general, that the journey is the destination. Like, it's all about the journey, not the destination. And you can shake your heads right now with whatever you're doing, working out, driving, walking, listening to this, just listening to this. But it's a fact, okay? And the, and the faster that you accept that fact, the better your life will become because I will tell you right now that it is about the journey. And the reason that it's about the journey is because in our lives, and that's the key word right there, lives, we are constantly striving to do better and be better and whatever, right? Most of the time. But our lives are our lives. It doesn't matter where we end up, so to say, because of the fact that we are chasing after either this tangible item or this thing and we're not getting there yet. And so we think that we are invaluable or not invaluable, not, not valued right. Or we misplace our thoughts, our mind, our conception on everything because we just assume that we aren't providing what we need to be providing to the universe. But when then in fact, it's actually the opposite. If we are always in a hurried fashion, you we're not going to get there because the universe has its own plan, God, the universe, whatever you guys want to call him, whatever you're comfortable calling him, it, um, have you guys ever heard that phrase, man plans, God laughs? And I love that phrase because it's, I think it's really true. We try to say, all right, by 22, I'm going to be a millionaire. And, you know, there's different techniques. There's um, meditating and manifesting and all those different things and whatever you guys believe in. But in all reality, it's very interesting because we can try to plan all these things and we can say these things out loud. But when in fact, it's not necessarily up to us, we can change our reality and the way that we think changes our lives. And that's why change your thoughts, change your life. This book literally called that because our thoughts alter and control what we see in front of us. If you ever have those bad days where something happens and you're like, oh my God, really? And then another thing bad happens. And then another thing bad happens. You want to know why that happens? Because we are looking for something negative happening because we are used to that now because we are telling ourselves, hey, this bad thing happened. Could it get that much worse? Whatever. It's not that it, the universe is throwing us a bunch of negative things. A lot of these things actually happen day to day. But we automatically assume that, okay, because this went bad, now all these events are going bad. No, it's our perception on how we view those things, and that's why it's negative. You can do the same thing with positivity. You can say, hey, this happened. This is great that this happened today. I got this. You know, someone paid for my coffee. Um, I had a great workout. Uh, you know, any of those examples. And then you can go out throughout the day, and you can notice all these positive things that happened to you. Why? Because our brain, our thoughts, our mind are controlling what we see on the outside. Because we are telling ourselves, hey, this is positive and this is negative. And of course, it's not that black and white. And it's very hard to control our thoughts. And it's very hard to be content and peaceful. And also, it's very hard to be like, quote unquote, happy. Be positive. Because it takes hard, it takes energy to be positive. It takes energy to be negative, but it takes less energy to be negative because it's easier to point out the flaws and the bad things that happen than it is to point out the positives. So that's why I think if you guys read this book, I think that will help you a lot. But what? let's dive in right here to this passage. It says, this is a little expert that I circled or underlined here. Creation takes place on its own timetable. The metaphor is clear here for you as well. You are unfolding in divine order. All that you require will be provided in an unhurried fashion. All that, I'm going to say that again. All that you require will be provided in an unhurried fashion. 
Let go of your demands and trust in the perfect unfolding of the Tao. Be in the state of watchful gratitude and align with the way. And the way meaning the Tao way. This is what trusting the process literally means. You need to let go and let things happen as they are happening. I am one of the biggest persons that I know that does this constantly where I am hard on myself about, hey, quit watching Netflix, go do something, get off your butt, go do something, go work, go work on the podcast, go look up prospects, go look up for other guests, go look for more books to read, read more. Like I am constantly telling myself to do something better so I can further myself. And it's true because I think all of us, especially my generation, Generation um, Z, that sounds wrong. Why does that sound wrong? Generation Z, Z? I don't know now. Now I'm really confused. Gen Z, that's why it's called wrong. That's why I'm, okay. Gen Z (laughs) is constantly looking for, we want to be this young, you know, young and vibrant and wealthy and having fun at such a young age because we see people that, and honestly, it's because of the influencers. I mean, that's purely it. It's it's because of YouTube and TikTok and Instagram and the influencers. That is the reason that we constantly are looking for something. We're like, hey, look, these people are 20. These people are 18. These people are like 16. And they're making bank right now. They're making millions of dollars, millions of dollars. And we're saying, hey, why can't that be me? And the answer is simple. It can be you. But it takes hard work, but it also takes timing. Everyone's timing is different. And I think that the sooner you learn that, the easier it is. And I don't like accepting that. I really don't. It's a hard thing to accept. So I'm I'm right there with you if you're saying, no, Cade, I, you know, that's not true. I want it to happen now. And I agree with you. But if we late, if we wait and we let it happen later when it's supposed to happen in unhurried fashion, then our gratitude and our just ourselves are going to be so happy because we waited and we took the time and we let things happen how they were supposed to because if you force anything it's not going to last long you just know that you just know that so then he says attempting and attempting to access the mind and intentions of lao which is the guy who created the thing through meditation and research on the tao te ching here's what i believe he would say to us today Stop chasing your dreams. Now, this is a very interesting thing to me because I personally, my mission right now is for everyone to be able to go chase their dreams. I want you guys, I want all of you listening to do what you really want to do in life. Whatever that may be, I really want you to do that thing. Seriously, with all my heart. Like that's something that I I want people to know that they have the ability to do whatever they want to do in life for a job, for a career, for in life in general. And trust me when I say this, you can do it. But this is why I was very contradicting when I was reading this because it said stop chasing your dreams. I thought it was really interesting. So I, I read more. I read more in depth. He says, allow them to come to you in perfect order with unquestioned timing. Slow down your frantic pace and practice being hollow like stillness, a regular part of your daily. Sorry, my bad. I meant <laughs> frantic pace and practice being hollow like the cave and open all possibilities like the uncarved wood which is in the poem that is the 15th verse. Uh, Make stillness a regular part of your daily practice. Imagine all that you'd like to experience in life and then let go. So really quick, I'm going to tell you a story. Last summer, literally a year ago from this, like probably this week or just the summer, I was at a point where my anxiety was so high that I was like, dude, like you need to figure it out. And it was because I was so hard on myself on making things happen. The podcast, uh, life in general, making sure I do stuff, hang out with people, whatever it was. And it was so high about that. And then I had a friend who helped me show, she showed me some things and it was like, wow, like, and I'm not going to go into detail about it, but she showed me things and I was like, dang, that is really cool. And so I decided to start saying, I'm going to let go like I'm letting go. And you can tie this to the universe or God. And you could say, God, I let all of this go. You can have all of this. Or you can say, universe, I let all this go. Or just say it out loud to yourself. I let all of this go. Here's what I really want to do. Now I'm letting it go. 
because you're sending that thought out to the universe and then now you're not talking about it anymore you're still taking action you're still doing things but you don't need to be doing it constantly and i know it's hard to do that but especially in your mind have fun hang out with your friends do the things that you really want to do and I know that some of the things that you do want to do, like for me, I really want to do the podcast, but how am I supposed to sit down and talk about something for 30 minutes or an hour with somebody else and I have to get somebody else and blah, 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 blah. My point is, though, is that when you let go, then things start happening for yourself. And I've had and I've had that experience firsthand. I, I can tell you that in confidence. Then it says, trust the Tao to work in divine perfection as it does with everything on the planet. You don't really need to rush or force anything. Be an observer and receiver rather than the pushy director of your life. It is through this unhurried unfolding that you master your existence in the way of the Tao. Give up struggling and start trusting in the wisdom of the Tao. What is yours will come to you when you aren't trying to push the river what is yours will come to you when you aren't trying to push the river and what i really like that he said in here was he's saying be an observer and receiver rather than the pushy director of your life because how many times are we really trying to control what's going on what's happening in our scene at the moment how we respond to other people coming in leaving all of this different stuff let that let it all go let stuff happen if people come into your life let them come in if they want to leave let them leave and it's way easier said than done and you can say okay you're being dumb buddy i really like this person i love this person i don't want them to leave sometimes that's the way it is it is what it is <laughs> you have to let it go you have to let that person go because the longer that you hold on to something that is not meant for you, and I'll say that again, the longer that you hold on to something that is not meant for you, the more it's just going to hurt you outside and inside. And then you're taking all this time and energy on something that isn't there. If, if, if you really love somebody and, and you have to let them go out of your life, that doesn't mean that you can't hurt. That doesn't mean that you can't mourn. But what it means is that you have to let it happen and let it go. And that person might be like, hey, that's messed up. He's letting me go. She's letting me go. But in all reality, you guys just aren't meant to be right now. And that's with friends, family, or significant others. And then, again, with what is yours will come to you when you aren't trying to push the river. Stop walking against the water. Start walking with the water. It's going to carry you. You're eventually going to get there. But now you're not fighting an upstream. You're not fighting a stream. It, it's that simple. The less that you fight, the more that you let go, the faster you actually come to fruition all the things that you're manifesting, you're dreaming, you're thinking about. Because your thoughts, whatever you are thinking day to day, impact what you do for later days. How important is that? And the other thing I wanted to say too was, let me pull it up actually, because this was in voice memos and I thought this was really interesting if we're chasing after something right now there's this whole thing on versus chasing and attracting if you're chasing your dreams you're already doing it wrong you should be attracting your dreams and I know that this goes into pretty deep stuff so if you do if you do if you're not aware or you're thinking like what I want to learn more I don't get this then please reach out to me but if you do understand it, attracting when you are starting when you're starting to attract things, you are asking them for them to come into your life and you're not running after them. Again, you're not chasing them. And I wish I could go more in depth about it, but that I'll I'll just leave it at that. But the thing is that when we are chasing after something, the more that we do that, the less that things actually come to us. We are telling ourselves subconsciously and consciously saying oh i really really want a red ferrari and you just keep saying i really want a red ferrari i really want a red ferrari i want a red ferrari i am i really want a red ferrari you know what you're doing 
yes, you are telling the universe this, but at the same time, there's better ways to do it because you are telling yourself that you don't have that thing. So that gets more important when you realize that it's not materialistic things that we are asking for of ourselves. I want to be loved. I want more money. I want more um, you know, I want to, I want to be famous. I want to be rich. I want to have a nice house. I want to have a nice car. And all these things are very important for you to really sit down and list and incorporate into your life. If that's something that you really want as far as your dreams and your goals. But when you are constantly telling yourself that you are constantly telling yourself that you don't have that. And that's why I am statements are so important as well. That's why it's like these things in our lives that we say, like, I am wealthy, I am rich. Uh, Russ talks about it, and he does a very good job in his book. Um, it's all in your head. Um, but I am statements, and using those techniques, affirmations are what, they call, what they're what they called, using those techniques, you are saying, I am rich, I am wealthy, which is saying that in the present tense, you are the thing that you want to be. So you're just telling yourself over and over that you are that. And eventually, you're going to believe it. And if you don't, you got to keep doing it until you believe it. And then keep doing it when you are believing it. Because that's what's so important. And it helps change your thoughts, change your mind. Being present all works into this. Because if you are present, you are stating, I am. You're stating that you are are happy you are healthy you are loved you are all of these different things and that's most important because without that you're constantly either dwelling in the past or you're anxious for the future when you're looking towards the future because you really want a certain lifestyle and you want this thing and it doesn't even matter what it is if you want to be a cfo if you want to be a ceo if you want to own a company if you want to create something if you want to be an influencer if you want to collect garbage for a living whatever it is art music whatever it is you guys can do that and you guys can accomplish that but in order to do that, you need to stay in the present. Why? Because you need to be creating. And our minds can't create when we're stuck in the past or looking towards the future. That's not how it works. The best creativity comes when you are in the present and you are actively looking and seeing and hearing and feeling what is in front of you in that moment. That's when the best creativity comes. Whatever you are doing, you're not thinking about the past. You're not thinking about the future. You know what I mean? It's it's insane, but it's so true, and it's cool, and I'm glad that I realized that, but that's why I wanted to share this with you guys because being present is something that I've struggled with my whole entire life now, um, but now it's getting easier and easier, and I think that the more that you guys try to do that, stay present, you know, and, that, and that's being grounded, and one of the best things that you can do in, in a study that I've read is being grateful. When you are grateful for the things and you're saying and you're telling yourself that you are grateful for those things, whatever it may be, your house, your family, the roof, the food, all of those things, those basic necessities, then you are telling yourself, look, I'm doing all right. I got all of this going for me and I'm so glad. And in your brain, anxiety or anything else can exist, can't exist while you are grateful. It's proven. It's seen. It's I've seen the studies on the brain and, and how it all works. And you guys can look that up for yourselves too. Being grateful makes you realize, which I know I've already done a podcast about this kind of, but being grateful is super important because you can put yourself out there and you can say, hey, I am grateful for all these things that are happening in my life. And that's also humbling you. And it's also recognizing it's putting you, it's forcing you into the present and it's forcing you to be somewhere, something in that time, which is just being present. So the biggest things I can tell you guys is to surrender and let go of all these things. Have your affirmations, manifest, journal, whatever you guys really like to do, keep doing it um, and have your outlets of creativity and however you want to be creative. 
And some people creative looks like doing spreadsheets and, and other people creative looks like this photography, video, audio, whatever it may be. You need to be able to let go and detach yourself from the outcome as well, which I know I just threw that in there, but detaching yourself from the outcome is very important. Whatever you really want to do, whatever your end goal is, eventually you're going to realize somewhere along your path that it is a, not a linear thing. It's going to be a, a, not a phrase, but it's going to be your, your, your passions, your purpose, your life is not a linear thing. I mean, I don't know why we think growth is linear either. It's not. That's why there's ups and downs. That's why one day we feel positive. We feel confident. We're doing everything. We're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing great. And then on the other hand of that, you're, you're negative and you're, and you're like, oh, I didn't really do much today. Today I didn't get a lot done. Whatever. That's because growth is not a linear path. I don't know why we ever thought that it was a linear line. It's not. It's an ups and it's a roller coaster. It's up and down. It's left. It's right. It's wrong. It's right. It's it's all over. Every place that you look, you're constantly, you know, if you're growing, you're not on a linear path. And when you tell yourself, hey, let's check in, let's be present, then you're allowing yourself to have more creative juices flowing towards you. You're changing your thoughts because you're saying, hey, look, I am, you know, healthy and I have this house and you're automatically becoming grateful for all of that. And then on top of that, while you're doing all of that, you're no longer focused on that certain destination that you're trying to get to and you're sitting there and you're enjoying life and that's it's happening around you because that's what about being that's what being present is. Like the, the I I remember I saw this TikTok and it was talking about how the meaning of life like he can answer it in a simple sentence and I'm sure some of you may have seen it or something and I'm going to butcher this but it was about how he goes, it's enjoying the passage of time. I believe that's literally what it was. Enjoying the passage of time is the secret to life. Because this is our life. Our life is not some destination in the distance in the future that we really want to get to. All of that would help us, we think, and is going to be great because we're working towards something which you need goals. But when you realize that it's not a linear path and it's okay to stray off to the right, the left, up and down, you will realize slowly that you're enjoying your time here on earth and you're doing whatever you can really do and you're staying present and you're having fun and you're staying with your friends and you're having time with your friends and you're sorry I'm like saying the same things over and over but my point is is that when you become present you're enjoying the passage of time you're enjoying your life and that's simply it. You're enjoying the journey. You're enjoying your life. We have to stop striving and really looking for that one thing in the distance in the future that we think is going to make or break us, whether it be a symbol or money, a certain amount of money or or a certain amount of um, loyalty and um, title. Like, that's okay to have those things. And it's okay to think in material possessions as well. I, I believe that. Some people don't. And it's different for everybody, I think. But I think that it's okay to have a big house and the next new sports car. If that's something that you want to work towards, that's okay to have that. Because in your life, you will find through your journey that your goals and just your values change throughout life. And that's okay. Change is a good thing. One minute you're going to be chasing after Ferrari. The next minute you're like, wow, I actually just really want to be peaceful. I just really want to be happy with my life. I want to make sure that when I wake up every single day, I'm going to a job that I love. It can be that simple and it can also can be very complex. So it's okay to have all those things. But to wrap all of this up, I just really want you guys to learn that when you are present, you're at your peak of creativity and you are changing your thoughts to alter how you're looking and when you let go when you let go of things you're sending them out to the universe to god and you're letting him and them and it work and it's going to come back to you it's like a boomerang whatever energy you send out there is going to come back to you and that's the lesson that i want all of you to take away today <laughs> i hope you all enjoyed this and again, that book is called Change Your Thoughts, Change Your Life by Dr. Wayne W. Dyer. 
and he's got a couple different books that are on the market and it's great and I definitely highly recommend it and again if you ever need help with anything or you want to uh, talk more in depth about it or you're like hmm, I don't understand what you meant here reach out to me my Instagram's down below everything's down below reach out to me and we will get it figured out. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and do something fun and do something fabulous. And I will see you all in the next episode. Peace.